Gabby Ayers lost her life doing something that she loved to do, being out on the water. And she would often come here to Belize Lake with her family to jet ski and to wake surf. Tonight, her father and sister are remembering her laughter, her love. One of the things that um, we've done today is just kind of reflect on her smile um, and her laughter and her just her willingness to love people unconditionally. Her father, Mark Ayers, says she just finished hair school and started working with him at Chavot Salon and Day Spa. It wasn't so much about the hair or the makeup, it was the experience that you got with Gabby when she was with you. Because when you were with Gabby, she was 100%. She was all you. Today, friends and family are getting the word out that drinking and driving any vehicle has tragic consequences and that boating safety is of utmost importance. We're going to have to have stricter laws in place. When we learned that the accident was instant and it was the boat hitting her neck, we knew all of her organs were going to be intact, but we knew the time was going to be limited. So we had to act, you know, fast. Air says Gabby's legacy will now live on in others as all of her organs were donated. And although she did not have autism, the family donated her brain to help with autism research. We received a call this afternoon. It was really exciting that um, a person this week is going to receive her eyes. So there'll be a person this week that'll see probably for the first time because of the absence of Gabby's. The Ayers family plans to have a celebration of life for Gabby this weekend at Center Grove Baptist Church in Clemens. Michelle Kennedy, WXI 12 News in Belize Creek.